Hello, my name is Karen Daly. Welcome to our next video in Echo Title's third annual legislative update series. With me today is Marcus Simon, who not only is the attorney and branch manager for Echo Title's McLean office, but is also a member of the Virginia House of Delegates. Marcus, the last bill that I saw changes on relates to the earnest money deposit, or as we call it, the EMD. What did the General Assembly do and why? Yeah, so this is a pretty minor change, but it can be really significant mm -hmm. for, for agents, which is why I think it's important we talk about it. Mm -hmm. uh, big trend lately in the last several years is that uh, real estate brokerages have gotten out of the business of taking EMDs. They've realized this, it's not worth the hassle. Yeah. And so almost everybody these days will designate the settlement company uh, as the party to hold the earnest money deposit. Mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't mean that you still don't have some clients that write checks. And so what the bill says is that if the real estate agent is handling the check, even if it's not made out to them or their brokerage, but if you're handling the check, the old five day rule to deposit the check still applies. But what it is now is it's five days to get it to the, the person who it's made out to, the person named in the contract. So if you've got um, Echo Title holding the deposit, you've got an old school client that likes to write paper mm -hmm. checks and they hand right. it to you, um, then you've got five days to get it to Echo. Now, hopefully that doesn't become an issue for most people because we have a lot of ways mm -hmm. uh, to get the earnest money deposit to people. What's one of those ways that works 24 seven, even on holidays or after hours? Yeah, again, if you want to use our app called Zocom, I get even if it's old, they're old school folks, almost everybody's got a smartphone today, right? right? If you can handle a smartphone, you can take a picture of a check, you can deposit that check to us, any amount, by the mm -hmm. way, even really large deposits, you don't need to bother with wiring or finding your bank or going into the branch or anything right. like that. You can just take a picture of that check um, and you find Echo Title in the drop down menu and within a couple of hours, that money's out of your account, it's into our account, uh, it's effortless. And from an agent's perspective, it's beautiful for you because you don't actually ever have to handle the money. You don't need to worry about the five day deadline yep. or any of it, you're off the hook. But do bear, bear in mind, if you're gonna hold onto those checks and you're gonna handle them, then you've got a legal responsibility now under the statute to get it where it needs to go within five business days, uh, regardless of, of what your hours or your day or whether you're on vacation or what, yep. you're, well, what else is going on in your life. And you know, I did see with the Zocom app that an agent can do it. So if the, the client hands the check to the agent, the agent can download the app and deposit the check. So then you've satisfied that five day rule. Right, it doesn't matter whose phone it is, right? Yes. It's just coming out of your account just because yes. you use your phone. Right. Uh, it's, the, it's, the, it's the routing number and the account number on the yep. bottom of the check that determine whose money yep. gets taken. So yeah, even an agent can use the Zocom app with, with one of their clients' checks. Thank you, Marcus, for this excellent information. Hopefully it will be helpful and useful to realtors. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post in the comments section below or reach out to any one of us at any one of our locations. We're always here to help you. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which has all of our videos that you can access and share with your clients. Thank you and have a great day.